Okay, so for this strike second deal, uh, the deco playing cards that I was using is the big one because it doesn't have the white borders, which is uh, more deceptive because the design it confuses you a little better uh, when it's the second card or the card at the bottom or the top card. Okay, so for this explanation, I'm going to use any deco playing cards with the white borders, so it's easier to explain and it's uh, easier to visualize. Anyway, the way it is done, there is not a lot of things that I can say in this strike second deal because all it is is just pushing the top card and grabbing uh, with a thumb uh, this gap over here in the corner so I can pull it out and you can put it on a table or you can just toss it away and that's it. Okay, so when doing this strike second deal um, notice I have the deck in mechanic script and uh, the tips they are not all the way at the bottom because when pushing the top card it's gonna push more than one card and I don't have them all the way on top because it's gonna lock the top card so just barely the tips go right above so I can push off just the top card and also it's gonna help you to reach right here in the corner the gap for a second card to be pulled out Okay, notice right here, this is the, the point of support because when pushing the top card to the side this corner remains uh, by the thumb pushing out it still remains the corner right here and uh, that's gonna allow me when returning the card it goes back right in the same position okay and it's better when using brand new decks of playing cards or well, at least, you know, make sure it's not really wear off uh, to use. So you can do the second deal much easier, you know. So there are two things happening. Uh, when pushing off, you reach the next card. And obviously, uh, by the speed, you can uh, conceal the second deal, you know, or the top deal. Now, if you're using this deck of playing cards with a white borders, you can instead do the necktie technique, which is lifting the deck to the eye level of the spectator so they can see more towards the front than the top. So they lose the perception if it's the top card or the second card. The top, the second, the top, the second, the top, the second. Now don't be afraid, uh, since this is just a show off, not uh, any purpose to explain this with um, intentions to take an advantage, obviously, of people, but uh, as an educational purposes, of course, this uh, method of taking the second card sometimes, you know, by grabbing or going for a second card, you may end up going twice, like that. You see, sometimes you may fail taking the second card. And it doesn't matter how professional you are, sooner or later, you, you fail. Of course, you don't fail as often as a beginner, but uh, don't be uh, afraid. Like I say, just for educational purposes, teaching people or showing people how others may take advantage of them, you know? So as I say before, uh, this deck of playing cards, the B ones, or any other ones without white borders, uh, you may not have the need to do that necktie, to lift it up like that, you may as well show just the top and it's gonna help you uh, this pattern and you know there are other several techniques for a second deal but uh, the strike second deal is the easiest one and the most overused in gamblers and uh, very useful for a lot of uh, performances now sometimes instead of putting the card on the table like that you may want to throw it out and the way to throw it out is by just pulling the second card all the way out and then you throw it and the way you throw it notice i have it in the index and thumb make sure the tips are wet enough so you can have a good grip the middle finger is right here in the side so when your middle finger push out before you reach the end point you let it go okay let go and for a second deal, just make sure you don't try to throw it in the middle of the way, like that, because it may not go really further out. Now 
Now I think that's it, there is not a lot of things that I can say about the strike second deal. Uh, it's just the fact that uh, you wanna do it uh, in slow motion, of course, to practice, to begin with. Uh, there are actually a lot of uh, professional gamblers that they can do a second deal with a little tiny separation without even showing the index, uh, the index of the following card just like that you may not really uh, have the need to do this little tiny one you know as long as you swing i mean you don't really need to exaggerate the swinging just a decent swinging uh, it does want to help you a lot you know now of course in series of show off um, i see a lot of people uh, even professional ones that uh, they fail a lot when taking a second card when they try to do a little tiny uh, gap okay now some people they may pull down the top card to reach the second one but in my performances i move it sideways but not straight like that in diagonal and reach right here in the corner this little gap of course and go back make sure you hit the tip of the, the index so it is completely square.